Last week, uh, I went to a yoga class and my yoga instructor said something that has been with me forever. Stay tuned and I'll share. So last week, I went to a yoga class. Yeah, it was virtual, but I still enjoyed it. And I enjoyed it because the instructor had a theme. And I've heard this before, but this class in particular, really, her theme stuck with me. And she said, we're all in the same storm, but we're all in different boats. And I thought, as I was doing the yoga, I began to think about all those different boats. And when I was done with the class, I started writing it down because I speak on the generations a lot. And I talk about traditionalists all the way down to Gen Z. And I started thinking that there are families out there right now where the entire family is in the same storm, but each one of them is in a different boat. Think about how we are all relating to this pandemic in different ways. My good friend has her mother living with her. So my friend is a baby boomer. Her mom is a traditionalist and she's got a millennial son living with her and a Gen Z daughter. The Gen Z daughter is an essential worker. She is working at the grocery store. She gets up early every single day because the store opens at seven. So she gets up around six, sometimes 530 and she gets to the store and sometimes she works a full shift. But my friend is worried because she's coming home after being there all day, seeing people all day, some who wear masks and some who don't. And she's so afraid that she's going to bring that virus home for herself and also for her mother that is living there. So I want you to begin to think about, sometimes we focus on ourselves and we focus on the worries that we have. And that focus and that worry brings stress to us. But after this yoga class and I started thinking same storm, different boats, I want you to think about the people that are out there that are putting their lives on the line every single day. And then some of them have to come home. I've read where doctors and nurses have worked all day and sometimes they go home to their small children. They have to take a shower before they come into the house. They have to change their clothes. Their life has changed dramatically and they're bringing that fear into the home with them. So I want us to stop worrying, stop thinking, stop focusing on self. And I want us to put our thoughts into appreciation and connection with others. My neighbor next door is 84 years old. I now do her grocery shopping for her because I want to get there. I want to help her. I want to do something. We think about people that are out there that are different from us. And we think about how we can help them. We think about how each generation right now is going through their own worries, their own stress. High school kids aren't graduating. Some of them are worrying that they're not really learning enough to graduate. College kids are worrying about where their future is going. Gen Zs that have just started in the workplace, some of them are working from home and they've never made relationships with anybody at work. They're not connecting. They're not learning the culture. Gen X is worrying about their kids. Some of them are going off to school. They've got their plates full with their family and their work. Baby boomers are worrying about their health as are traditionalists. So we are all in the same storm, but in different boats. So it's time for us each to be more compassionate and to practice gratitude every day. And please be kind to each other. Thanks everybody. It's Karen McCullough.